To link the four words together in the story, you might imagine open the box to find a tiny tree inside. You could take the tree and fix it in the rear view mirror in your car and then drive off straight into a giant cake sitting in the middle of the road. Think of the box, you'd see, <clears throat> you remind yourself finding the, the tree. Thinking of the tree, you can recall fix, fixing it in, in your uh, car. Picture driving off in your car, you remember how you felt when you smashed into the giant cake. Box tree car cake. Box tree car cake. Box tree car cake. However long the list is, you could only you only need to deal with one item at a time. Make sure that each link is strong enough that it will take you to the end of the story. So to get a vivid picture, exaggerate the picture. Make sure it's in vivid crystal clear color. You see the detail, you smell the smells, you feel the feelings, you hear the sound, you exaggerate the picture and you put them together in using lots of what? Action, action and more action. More is always less, more is always better than less. More is always better than less. Again, something that will probably never happen in real life. There's lots of action. There's lots of interplay. There's exaggeration. You can feel it. You can see it. You can sense it. More is always better than less. In your mind's eye, using action, using your imagination, more is better than less. Uh, see the pictures vividly. Hear the sounds. Feel the feelings. Smell the smells. With action, put two words together, put two picture words together in an exaggerate, in a ludicrous, nonsensical way. The first thing we do uh, is we exaggerate the picture. We make sure that I have seen something that could never happen in real life. Make sure when you go back, do you see the picture? And ask yourself the right question. What is my action? If you need more, if you have a logical connection, that's bad. You need to put it together in an illogical way. You should be, there should be no logical connection between the item we want to remember and the picture word, uh, the peg. The two pictures should go together in a ludicrous, outrageous, nonsensical, ludicrous way. Again, make sure uh, in your mind's eye that, that it can never happen in real life. The two pictures should go together in a ridiculous, outrageous, nonsensical, ludicrous way. Again, make a scene in your mind's eye that could never happen in real life. Then you can recall anything and you, and you can make full use of your absolute, complete and natural memory that you have already, use it. Now you know how. In the next video, I'm gonna be talking about the structure of the brain. Uh, there are three clear defined areas of the brain. Reptilian, the basal ganglia are referred to as the reptilian brain, the primal uh, brain. Mammal, the limbic brain is also called the mammalian brain. Cortex, the um, cerebral cortex is also known as the cerebral mantle. And then all of that is protected by the skull.